Hello, I just wanted to jump on real quick and talk about President Trump's coronavirus diagnosis. No doubt many people are wondering what kind of an impact this is going to have on the stock market over the short term and longer term as well. Well, it is exactly in times when there is a lot of feelings of uncertainty and chaos out there where the Elliott Wave model and the socionomic perspective can help you to cut through that chaos and provide some clarity. One powerful example of that came on September 11th, 2001, the day of the 9-11 attacks. There was a tremendous amount of fear, social anxiety in the country. A lot of people were wondering whether the stock market it was going to crash as a result of these attacks. The authorities even shut down the New York Stock Exchange. Well, the night of September 11th, Robert Prechter released an issue of the Elliott Wave Theorist where he used the Elliott Wave model to reach a counterintuitive conclusion. By studying the market's wave structure, Prechter identified that the market had nearly completed five waves down. And under the Elliott Wave model, after five waves down are completed, there is a reversal in trend. So Prechter forecasted that the market would likely head lower in the coming days or even weeks, but then it would reach a significant low and have the biggest rally since the previous top. So let's zoom out and see what happened next. Well, indeed, the market did fall for a total of five days before reaching a significant low and rallying for six months, having the biggest rally since the top. Now, not every market juncture is this clear or offers this kind of a opportunity, but just the fact that a forecast like this is possible using the wave model in the face of an overwhelming consensus to the contrary is remarkable. Now let's turn to a topic closer to the question at hand, and that is, does news about a leader's health impact the stock market? One of the most dramatic examples of that came on November 22nd, 1963, the day of President John F. Kennedy's assassination. So let's look at a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average around that time. And the first question to ask is, is it self-evident on this chart where such a dramatic event occurred? Well, let's see where it happened. It occurred here. And just one trading day later, the market had closed higher and then it continued higher thereafter. The assassination, therefore, having no short-term and no longer-term impact on the trend in the stock market. Now let's look at a more recent example. On March 27, 2020, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was diagnosed with the coronavirus. He announced he was going into self-isolation. He ended up being hospitalized for a time. It was unclear whether he was going to make it. Well, did the British stock market crash? Let's see. Here's March 27th, the day he announced his diagnosis. And did it crash? No, the market ended up drifting higher and continued higher thereafter, that diagnosis having no discernible effect on the market's trend. And news about the coronavirus pandemic in general has baffled traders time and time again. For example, the pandemic itself erupted in China after more than a dozen years of a net decline in Chinese stock prices. And in fact, since that pandemic erupted in China, Chinese stock prices have drifted net higher. And if we look at the history in the U.S., we also see something that's striking, and that is that the tremendous decline in the Dow Jones Industrial Average actually preceded the acceleration in the COVID-19 epidemic in the United States. In fact, as that epidemic was accelerating, as the case count was soaring, why the market was soaring as well, certainly the opposite of what a conventional analyst would have expected. Well, could the waves have done any better? What were Elioticians saying around the time of this significant high? In the January 2020 issue of the Elliott Wave Financial Forecast, published January 10th, Steve Hochberg and Pete Kendall wrote, bottom line, the new year has coincided with new highs in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, but key pieces of evidence indicate that the rally is at or very near an end. Aggregate measures of investor sentiment show multi-year optimism, which is compatible with a stock market top.
Now is the time to be prepared for a change of trend, which very few investors are currently anticipating. Well, indeed, just a month later, the market did register a significant top and then had a dramatic reversal in trend. Those who followed the waves were ready for it. So what are the waves saying now about the current juncture in the market? Well, the latest issue of Robert Prechter's Elliott Wave Theorist went to press Wednesday. The latest issue of the Elliott Wave Financial Forecast is out now. And every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, a new issue of the Short-Term Update posts. You can get access to all three publications through EWI's flagship Financial Forecast service. You can find out how to sign up and get the clarity you need to navigate these challenging times in the page below.